hi fashion designer and welcome today i'm going to share with you how to make this simple brief panty pattern if you are a beginner and have never drafted a panty pattern before this tutorial is definitely for you but before we get started please do not forget to give this tutorial a good thumbs up and also share so let's not waste any time and get right to it so we're going to start by the body measurement and we're going to take your hip round uh, circumference and then followed by your waist round circumference. Then you're going to measure the distance between your waist to hip, the widest part of your hip. The last measurement is your crotch depth. You're going to sit on the chair and measure from waist to the surface of the chair. I am going to mark two lines horizontal and vertical and then from the starting line I'm going to mark half of the hip round circumference and then I'm going to mark this line is going to serve as the waist the center front line is going to be the crotch depth which is going to be 11 inches in my case then I'm going to square a line across the pattern paper the first half is going to serve as the front and the other half is going to serve as a back pattern. Now from waist, I'm going to measure the distance between waist to hip and mine is going to be 8 inches. Then I am going to square a line across the pattern paper. So now it's time for us to start by marking the front side. This is a crotch depth right on the crotch depth line i'm going to go up by uh, one inch and then go in by another one inch and i am this is the width for the front crotch or for the front pattern so on the hip line i'm going to mark quarter of the hip round circumference subtract one inch because we're going to be using a stretch material same thing on the waist we're going to mark quarter of waist circumference subtract one inch connect this two point to create the uh, side and then now the next thing we need to do is to connect from the crotch width to the hip line over here i'm going to be using my curve ruler and i'm going to place the ruler on in an inward curve and as you can see there's a pointed part there i'm going to uh, go up a little bit by half of an inch to remove that pointiness right on the side and then i'm going to go ahead now and just blend this leg opening now moving on to the waist of the front pattern i'm going to lower the waist with half an inch and then blend it again right on the tip of the waist and i'm going to be using my curve ruler to do so so this is a high brief pattern if you want to make it into a bikini pattern now right on the waist lower your waist by half of an inch and then you want to also do the same thing right on the center front by marking half of an inch right on the center front connect to these two lines and this is going to be your new waistline now again you if you lower the waist you want to also go up right on the leg opening and then i'm going to mark this uh, half an inch going up also to open up the leg opening and then just blend from this half an inch all the way to the crotch width So now once you're done doing this you have your bikini front pattern. So let's go ahead and draft to the back pattern Now for the back pattern right on the crotch depth I am going to this is also the crotch depth line so also here I am going to go down by half of an inch and then I am going to mark the width of the crotch which is going to be one and a half inch. Connect these two lines. Then you want to go on the hip line. You're going to measure a quarter of hip round circumference subtract one inch just like we did for the front quarter of waist circumference subtract one inch. And then mark this on the back pattern then connect the two points from waist to hip 
Now to create the leg opening for the back, you just want to go ahead and connect this either with a straight line right to the crotch width over there. Now the next thing is from the crotch width, I'm going to mark down a half of an inch and then connect that half an inch right back to the crotch width like so. And then you also want to connect or blend that um, half an inch back to the leg opening. And your full uh, brief panty pattern is complete. Now remember that we did a bikini pattern for the front and we want to also do the same thing for the back. We're going to lower the waistline by half an inch right on the center front, including the side. So you want to join this two part like so and the same principle when you lower the waistline, you also need to raise the leg opening. So I'm going to do the same thing, raise the leg opening by one and a half inch, then blend it back to the crotch width. So guys, at this point, you've got your high brief panty and your bikini panty and you just want to decide which one you want to do. So I went ahead and I highlighted my bikini panty pattern with the pink marker. So I've decided to do a bikini pattern for myself. So for the gusset, I'm just gonna draw a straight line over here. And in order to calculate your gusset, you need to measure the crotch depth from the waist to where it ends on the front pattern, which is 10 inches. And then also again, measure the back crotch depth from the waist to where it ends, which is 12. Take these numbers, 10 is for the front and 12 is for the back in my case. Add them together and it's gonna be 22. I'm going to take this number and divide it into four and it's going to be 5.5 inches. So I'm going to round off this number to the nearest decimal, which is going to be six inches. So now my, and now I know that the gusset length is going to be six inches in my case. And then I am going to now, in order to shape this gusset, we need to go ahead and cut out our pattern. And I'm going to cut out for the bikini pattern in my case. Once complete, I'm going to take the back pattern and just trace on the gusset width for the back pattern and also take the front pattern and trace on the gusset width. Then join this two point with a straight line or a curved line. And our gusset pattern is complete. The next thing we need to do is to add seam allowance. I'm just going to add seam allowance 0.5 right on the bottom for the back part in the front. And right on the center front is going to be cut on fold. You might wonder why I'm not adding seam allowance all around the gusset. This depends on the elastic that I'll be using. And I'm going to be using a fold over elastic. And also on my pattern, this is the elastic I'm going to be using. It's a fold of elastic. I didn't add seam allowance right on the waist because of the elastic also in the leg opening. But please add seam allowance on the side seam. So if you're going to be using a picot elastic as shown on the screen, add 0.5 seam allowance on the leg opening, including on the waist and also right on the side. As for the gusset, also add your seam allowance all around, including right on the side, except the center front. So over here, I have my stretch lace. Please make sure that you use at least 20% stretch material. And here I've got my cotton fabric, which is also a stretch material. You can use this fabric to make an underwear also. And your elastic. So I'm going to take, I've already cut out my pattern, the front and the back pattern. And for the gusset, I cut it on the lining and also the fashion fabric, which is the lace in my case. So I'm going to take the gusset and the front pattern, uh, the front panel of the panty and place it, the gusset, right sides facing underneath. And so a straight stitch right on the gusset.
once that is complete this is how it turned out as you can see the seams are tucked in between the two layers of the gusset we're going to take the back panel also place it right sides with the front uh, panel and then you want to pin the first layer which is the lace first and then you want to move the lining underneath and roll the front panel, panel of the panty and then overlap it so that it can join with the other layer of the gusset well as shown on the screen once I'm done sewing those three layers together, I'm going to turn my panty the correct side. And as you can see, this is how it's attached. I'm going to go into a top straight stitch right on the seam. And then once we're done doing so, make sure you place this two panels together, right sides facing, and sew a straight stitch right on the side. I went ahead and I saw a straight stitch also joining the lining with the gusset so that it doesn't move around when we attach the elastic. So I'm going to go ahead and attach the elastic right around the waist. Now as for the attaching the elastic, make sure you use a zigzag stitch. So over here I'm just going to pull the elastic and then insert the lace in between the fold of the elastic then sew a zigzag stitch. Make sure that the tension of your elastic is not too much. I did the same thing also on the leg opening. So I'm also going to do the same thing on the other leg opening and attach my fold over elastic. Again, take note how I actually sew this elastic. I'm not pulling the elastic too much, but just enough to sit comfortable. And there we go guys this is the end of our panty and of course i had to make it into a set if you want to know how i made this bra i will definitely post a link down below on the description i hope you guys will enjoy making this pattern as for me see you on the next one